Greetings, toy heads, and welcome to another episode of Go Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams. And today we are having a look at the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Retro Carded Cobra Trooper. I uh, had this on order, uh, pre-order, actually, from Amazon, along with the Cobra Commander and the Stalker, which I got uh, last week, week before, something like that. They're back there, if you want to check out the reviews on those. And uh, this rolled in today, actually yesterday, when you're going to see this. And uh, let's have a look. So, uh, we've got choking hazard warning, small parts, don't put toys in your mouth. Ages 4 plus, Cobra enemy. Uh, G.I. Joe, Cobra Trooper. Uh, there is that uh, re reproduction of that classic, classic artwork on the retro card. We've got the old retro Hasbro card there. There you can see Cobra Trooper and all his Cobra Trooperiness. And then on the back here, we've got uh, the file card on uh, the Cobra Trooper in multilingual. And uh, pictures of the entire wave. Cobra Commander, which is awesome. Stalker, which is awesome. I had both of those are 10 out of 10. I'm going to guess this one's going to be just as good, if not better. Um, Jibber Jabber Legal Jargon, ages 0 to 3. You know what that means. If your child is not born yet, they shouldn't play with these toys. That's right. You're welcome. Houses of Klingon and Barcode. Let's get him out of the package. Let's get him onto the pedestal and we'll have a look. And here we have him on the pedestal. Let's have a look at the accessories. First and foremost, we have the classic uh, Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series retro carded stand. I wish they all came with these stands because the best part about this stand, not just that it's a stand, but when you get a figure and this one isn't going to need this, this is a free stand. <laughs> because this guy looks like he's going to stand just fine. That means he doesn't need this. That means this will go for somebody else because this is just about universal. So we have that uh, classic black plastic with the Cobra logo on it. Let's dive into the real accessories here. First and foremost with these is the blue helmet. Um, and I did bring along my little buddy here. Oh, as I knocked the camera, my little buddy here, the original uh, Cobra Trooper and or Cobra Soldier. I can't remember exactly what that one was called, but uh, we have him here so we can do a little compare and contrast because I think there is a lot of reuse in this, but we'll I may be wrong. But uh, we've got the helmet, which uh, is pretty much a reuse helmet. Um, it's the same, same thing, just basically all blue, blue and a little bit of dark blue paint apps on there. But we have uh, it's a, it's the same. It's a reuse. I'm just gonna sit him right over here because he stands up really well too, which makes me think that this is it. But yeah, um, we have that uh, that helmet. We'll go ahead and just slap that on him because they to me they just really look weird without it and um yeah so yeah I, it doesn't fit on there very well and it's not lining up okay it's kind of huh it doesn't fit on him as well as the as the regular the original so we have um, a sniper rifle that he comes with, which is I thought was kind of strange, but I guess maybe not so much. But it is a very cool sniper rifle. It does have sniper rifle. That's going to be difficult. Sniper rifle. And it does have the gun effects hole at the end there. Um, actually, a really nice sniper rifle. Um, we've got a little bit of a brown wood grain paint on the stock and underneath the barrel there, uh, on the belly. And, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, this thing looks like it might be to come out, but it doesn't. And I'm not going to, oh, I put a dent in it. <laughs> Oops. Um, but yeah, nice looking sniper rifle. There it is. Sniper rifle. Yeah. Uh, it is a little bit warped. I think I'm going to heat that up and then press it uh, between two towels and uh, and kind of straighten it out. And then we have a semi-automatic. Uh, this is that classic G.I. Joe semi-automatic pistol. Looks like a Colt uh, with the suppressor or silencer, if you will. And that just slides into the gun effect hole uh, on there. 
But uh, we've seen that with uh, I don't. That's not. I don't think it's the same one that comes with Snake Eyes. But I think it comes with. I think it's the same one that comes with Stalker, maybe. But uh, we have that one, and then we have a little SMG here, or well, that's eh, probably a laser blaster, because <laughs> this is kind of like GI Joe comic, or well, I guess comics they didn't really use lasers. I don't think the TV show they definitely did. But um, this one also has a gun hole effect in it. And then we have a knife or knife, depending on where you're from, with a black paint out and handle and a really nice shiny silver uh, blade on there, just a straight single edged blade. And then here is Cobra Trooper. And Cobra Trooper stands at approximately between six and a quarter and six and a half inches tall. Uh, right in that area and we're just gonna put that back and let's get him out and um, like I said before I've got my original here to do a little compare and contrast the head is is very different uh, I can tell that the under I don't see I don't know because this guy's got that tactical vest on so I can't tell but it looks to me pretty much that a lot of this I'd say this is probably about 75 to 80 percent reuse but who cares it looks great first thing is very noticeable is the blue is a little is much brighter uh, than it is on this um, so it is it is a little bit more blue um, he doesn't have the sort of uh, mask part is isn't the same it doesn't have like vents in it and stuff it's just a black wrap which is that's that's the old school cobra troopers or officers um oh it's got drop down ball joint <laughs> i already saw it i'm cheating the tactical vest is uh, quite different this one's more of a tactical bandolier uh, that this guy has and then he's got this little thing on his arm here which is a separate piece um that this guy doesn't have so there's that thing's new the vet this thing this harness is new um we also have a the a scabbard for the knife and a holster for the the uh sidearm and the the little slip doodle thing there in the front for the that's a technical term too i'm not being fresh uh for the silencer or suppressor but um yeah and we've got the hole in the back so you can put a backpack on him he doesn't come with one but uh, he has that hole in the harness and then into the back if you so choose to do that on a uh like a third party kind of place and uh yeah so looks really good uh you got the blues you got the blacks um a little bit of a light gray in uh, the paint apps on that thing you got that bright cobra red logo there um on the chest so yeah let's go through articulation we've got a ball with a uh a, a neck with a ball going into the upper torso uh and a dumbbell oh no that is a oh no it's a hinge ball hinge is that a ball hinge yeah oh, okay that's a ball hinge that's surprising Okay, so we've got a ball hinge going up into the head, giving us full rotation on the head, and uh, really good down, and uh, not too bad on the up. You can get a little bit more if you pull that hat back, or the helmet back. I mean, it is a hat. And so, yeah. And then on the shoulders, we've got a little bit of a butterfly joint in there. Not much of one, but enough to have a little bit of back and forth. Uh, full rotation of the arm at the shoulder with a hinge going out to there in the T formation. Uh, we have a bicep swivel with a double elbow um, on this arm. It's catching on that thing, so that needs to actually come up a little bit. Uh, you want that up there towards the top of the bicep swivel. So then you can get a little bit more arm, but not much because it is catching right there. Uh, down to the wrist where we've got full rotation of the wrist and an in and out or an up and down. 
up and down yeah up and down hinge on the left which means the right should be an up and down as well or is it in and out it's up and down but it's really tough so i'm not gonna force it um we've got a hinge mid torso oh, that helmet just keeps popping off don't it uh, a hinge mid torso giving us some ab crunch down to there uh, and back to there actually and this harness does get out of the way um, get that to stay on there and then down to the waist where we have a detented uh, uh, ball joint at the waist giving us some hula hoop and some waist swivel which is awesome legs out to there drop down ball joint uh with a thigh swivel this is awesome um with a thigh swivel and a double knee going back to there down to the boot where we have a boot swivel and then detents on the feet and a forward rocker on the feet let's get him geared up here all right let's put this in the holster I like gearing these guys up. And we'll put the silencer or suppressor in its little place. Okay. And then put the sniper in his right. Put that trigger finger in there. And we'll put the laser blaster looking thing. Okay. And then the knife in the scabbard. Oh, I'm putting it in backwards. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, he stands up just fine. So, yeah, I'm really loving it. It's awesome. I may actually get two or three of these <laughs> um, if they're still available. So let's uh, get him off the pedestal. We'll line him up with some other characters and see how he scales up. So here we have him with the Medicom Moff X Return of the Jedi Boba Fett, the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Imperial Stormtrooper Version 2, the Hasbro Marvel Legends Series Netflix Daredevil, and the Mezco 112th Collective Superman Man of Steel Edition. All in all, another 10 out of 10 for me. Um, my only complaint is that that helmet, that helmet doesn't want to stay on there, but uh, it'll stretch out. I'm not too worried about that, or I can make it stretch out. Um, this is fantastic. I love, I absolutely, absolutely love the retro line. And now I'm, now I'm contemplating because I, I never got Lady J and I didn't get the seal. Um, those are the only two that I don't have out of the retro carded line. And I think I may actually track those down because I know they're really cheap right now. These are awesome. These are almost like having a, a version of the cartoon version in your collection as well as you know the main line that's got that's more the more realistic but these are these are just such a great throwback to the old i mean they're not exactly the same but they've got a little bit a little bit of modernization to them but still nonetheless they look really really good and this is a 10 out of 10 i love it it's fantastic no complaints other than the helmet one stay on <laughs> So that'll do it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Curse, smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of my channel. You all have yourselves a great week and a great day. I'll see you next time. And until then, don't forget to get your figure on. Take care.